everyone welcome to your first ever decentralized staking dapp platform where you will allow user to stake their token and they can earn reward we also have a feature of ico so they can buy the token and they can stake and they can earn the reward so let me give you a quick walkthrough that what exactly we're going to code in this entire project so the very first section we have in our project is the navigation section so this is the logo which you can easily able to customize as per your branding here we have the navigation so you can click on this home and you will be on the home section you can click on the staking and it will take you to the staking section where you will find all of this you can go to the crypto you can go to the partners and that's all you will find so let's go on top and here we have the hero section and here we are using a special wallet provider which allow you to connect with different crypto wallets so if i click here i can easily able to disconnect and I'm disconnected. So if I want to connect with the wallet, I can simply click on this connect wallet and here is going to give me multiple options. So I have MetaMask installed in my browser. So that's why it's reflecting here, but they have other option and you can configure manually as well. So if you don't have these wallets, you can simply click here and scan the QR code from your device in your phone and you are connected and you can able to do the transaction. So that's how you can pick the wallet. So I'll go with the MetaMask because that's what I have in my browser. So interact with the contract. So it's going to simply connect. It's going to fetch your account address and the balance which you have and all the data from the contract will be reflecting here as per your wallet. Now we have an option called token ICO. So we are also selling the token which we are allowing user to deposit in our contract to earn reward. So if they don't have the token, they can simply click on this and they can buy the token and then they can stake the token to earn the reward. So currently the supply is 90 token is left and this is my balance. You can simply put the amount and this much money you go to pay and you will get a five token in your wallet which i will show you so that's our navigation section and here we have the hero section you can customize this tagline as per your branding here we have an option for buying tokens so you can click and you can buy the token and if you want to add this particular token in your metamask so you can simply click here and it's going to open the metamask and you have to simply add the token so you can see i can click on this add token and the token will be added in my metamask successfully so we have added the token now here you will find the stat of the current ico which we are doing on this tbc token so you can see the price you can see the token left in the ico contract the total supply and how many tokens have sold so far so currently i bought 10 token that's why you can see it's 10 but the total supply was 100 so every single data is dynamic and that's what we have in our hero section now come back to the second section is the stat section so currently we have three different pools you can create as many pool as you want but we are focusing on the three different pools so the first pool we have is 50 percent in that we have 20 token stake the second pool we have is 100 percent in that we have 50 token stake and here we have this 200 pool in that we have store 100 token so you can able to find the stake of the token in each pool and the total number of token are stake in the contract that's all is there in the staking platform that's all is reflecting here in the analytical section. Now let's come back to the staking. So if I click on the staking, it will take me here and I can able to stake my token in the contract. Deposit I have done. So the account I have used for connecting with that account, I have deposited 20 token and that's what is reflecting. And this much reward I have earned so far after staking 20 token. In the standard one, you can see I have a stake 40 token and the total number of tokens stake in this particular standard is 50. So other user have staked 10 token. And the reward I have earned is this much. If I go to the elite one, in that I have a stake 90 token on this much reward I have earned. So I can able to withdraw or if I want to stake more, I can do that very easily. You can click on the details and there you will find the details about the two token, the token which user will stake and the token they will get in return as a reward. So you can simply provide different token as a reward, but I'm going with the same token as a reward. So that's all details you will find here. So that's the staking section. Now, the second section we have is the token where we are displaying the supply of the market and the price. So you can see the total taken stake is this. This is the price and this is the reward supply. So this is the dynamic data we have about our token. Now we have this staking reward section. Then we have this token reward section. There you will find the stats about the current reward which you are getting. So you can see in the first pool, I have 20 token and the staking period is one day and I have earned this much reward which i can able to claim or if i want to withdraw my token out of this particular pool i can do that as well same goes with this one this second pool and this is the third pool if i want to simply withdraw the phone i can simply click here and i can give the amount which i want to withdraw or i can simply claim the reward in the same way you can go with this one or you can go with the, this one 
So if I come back here in the staking pool, I can simply click on this investment and here I can invest more tokens. So you can see the current deposit I have done 20 and the total deposit is 20. So if I want to deposit more tokens, so this is currently available balance I have of this particular token. So if I want to deposit, I can deposit the token. So that's how our deposit we have. Now we have seen this staking reward section. I'll show you every single thing. Now we have this active like. So all the transaction which is happening in our staking contract, whether the users are withdrawing fund, depositing, claiming reward, that's all stats we are have here. So you can see a while ago, I have withdraw the fund of 10 token from pool two. You can see the token, you can see the address of the user and the time I have withdraw that. So that's all stats you will find about the deposit, withdraw and claim. That's all we reflect here. You can click here and it will take you to the analytical page where you will find all the transaction of the rewards and deposit. Then we have our partners. So here I'm displaying different partners which we have collaborated with. So you can simply customize as per your branding. Then we have this question section. So if your user have any question they want to ask you, they can simply do that. So they can click on this ask question and they can give their name, email and the message and they can send the message to you. I'll show you all the features. Then we have the footer section. We have a nice footer section where we are displaying all of this. This looks good. So this is the entire UI of our front end. Now let's see everything in action because so we have an admin panel as well, which I will show you. So what I will do is I'll first come back here and I'm going to buy a couple of tokens. So currently supply is this much 90 and I want to buy, let's say 10 token and this much fund I have to pay if I want to buy the token. So I can click on this buy token and it's going to make a call to my smart contract. It will open the metamask and I have to simply confirm the transaction so i'm paying this much fund and this fund will be transferred straight away to the owner of the contract so simply click on this confirm and the transaction will complete after the complete transaction you will have your token in your wallet address and this and this fund will be go down just wait and finally the transaction is completed you can see it's loading the data and you have received your token so if i come back here you can see it went up to 10 because we have bought 10 token now if i click on this you have this 80 and your balance went up to 10. Earlier it was 85, but now you have 95. So you have bought the token. If you want to add the token in your MetaMask, you can simply click here and you have to simply confirm the add token and you will be added this token, which we are selling in the staking as well as in the ICO. So the token is added successfully. This looks good. You have seen the feature. Now let's come back to the staking. I can stake more token in any one of the pools. I already have deposit of 20 token. If I want to stake more, I can click on this invest. And here I have to give the amount. So this must balance I have so I can simply increase my allowance. So I'll go with 100 token deposit now. So it will become 120. I can click on this proceed and it's going to make a call to our smart contract. So first I have to approve the transaction. So click on this next approve. And once the approval will complete, now we'll have an option to confirm under deposit because that's how things work in the decentralized ecosystem. If you want to give your token to an external contract, which is going to execute the token, then you have to approve. Then the contract will have the right to execute the token on behalf of you to make the transaction and earn the commission. So we have successfully approved the token. Now we have to simply confirm that. So we'll say confirm. After the confirmation, the token will be stake in the contract. Just wait. And finally, the token stake in our staking contract and you will see that token will be reflecting in our investment. So right now it went up to 120 because I have invested 100 more token and you can see the reward went down to zero because that's the feature we have included in our smart contract. So we have a lock period of one day. If one day complete, the user will earn the reward and when he will try to deposit the token one more time, will first withdraw that token, the reward token and transfer to his wallet and then we're going to simply stake the token. So that's the logic we have implemented. So that's what we have. If I want to withdraw, I can do that. I can invest in this as well. So if I want to invest more, I can do it very easily. And this time I want to invest 10 token and I can click on this proceed. It will happen the exactly the same thing. I have to simply confirm the transaction. So I have to click on let's next approve and once the transaction will complete i have to deposit the token in the contract so i can start earning the reward for my staking token now i have to click on this confirm so it will be stake our token in the contract and we have successfully stake our token in the contract and here you will see it will reflect that it went up to 100 so that's how you can stake the token in the contract to earn reward. Now we can come back here in the staking reward section. Here we have multiple options. We are displaying the token which you have at stake in each one of these pool. And here we have the two tokens 
one is the staking one and other one is a reward one you can see the apy and here we have the last reward calculation so this is the total reward you have on and this is the last reward calculation we have done in the contract so if you want to withdraw the token or you want to claim the reward you can do that so you can see currently i have this much reward so i can simply come here and i can click on this reward claim and it's going to make a call to my smart contract and i can able to claim the reward which i have earned so i have to simply click on this confirm and it's going to make the transaction once the transaction will complete i'll receive the reward so this is the one way of receiving the reward or if you have already have a reward so at the time of deposit you will also withdraw that reward and here the transaction is completed and we have withdraw our reward successfully out of the staking contract so if i come back here in the reward staking you can see it went down to zero because we have claimed our reward if i want to withdraw the token which i have staked so currently i have 120 token if i want to withdraw this token i can do that i can simply click here and i want to withdraw less and finally the transaction is completed and you have withdraw the token successfully it went down to 90 because we have withdraw 30 token and everything is got updated in the same way you can withdraw the reward and you can withdraw the token so that's how our staking and withdrawal will work absolutely fine now if you come back to the activity section there you will find all the details so recently we have withdraw 30 token that's what is reflecting you can see we have claimed this much reward from the pool zero that's what is reflecting here we have the another claim which we have done at the time of deposit that what is reflecting you can see the deposit and you can see the time stat that when this transaction is happened so that's how the activity would page would look like now if you come back here in the partner section where we have multiple partners so you can simply promote any one of the campaign but now you can come back to the question section so your users can ask you questions so they can give the name they can give the email id and they can ask you the question and you can simply paste this text and you can simply send the message so here the message is sent and you will receive the message in your email so every single thing is working fine about the staking buying the token claiming the reward withdrawing the token that's all is working now let me take you to the activity page so if i come back here if i click on this view all activity it will take me to the activity page and then i can able to find all the transaction and all the stats of the taking contract so currently we have these three pools you can see each pool with the token and the apy and you can see the total number of token which stake in the staking contract and here you will find all the transaction which happen in the contract so that's what we have here in the activity section now we have an admin panel where you can able to control the entire smart contract including the ico contract as well as the staking contract so to go to the admin panel we can simply come back here and we have to simply click and change the url admin panel and this is the admin panel only you the contract owner can have this access of this admin and only you the admin of the contract will have the access of the admin panel you can see it's loading all of the data including the staking contract data as well as the ico contract data and you can able to control and change the token and the pricing every single thing if you want to create new pool you can do that as well so it's taking a little bit of time make sure to reload the page and here we have it so just wait it's reloading once the page will reload complete and here we got all of this data let me expand this one and this is what we will have in the admin panel so here you will have that you can simply click and it's going to open the model and you can buy the token if you want and here you will find all the stats so currently we have this three different pool you can see number of tokens staked this is your tbc balance because i am the admin and i have created this token so i have this much token in my wallet address and this is the token tbc token staked by the user and you can see this tbc token which we have deposited in the contract after after creating the pool so when the user will deposit and claim the reward so we can maintain the token supply if it's go into the minus the user cannot able to withdraw so you as an admin you have to constantly monitor and provide with the supply in the staking contract so this much available supply we have provided so the user can withdraw the reward so that's the stat section here we have the explore section so you can simply copy the url of the contract and you can able to verify on the ether scan and here we have the details about the token which we are allowing user to stake and get rewards so name symbol total supply and you can see the total token stake is this much because we are calculating the total token stake by the user and the available supply which you have provided for getting reward and that's what we have here you can click here and you can able to explore the token on the block explorer so that's the default admin dashboard we have now we have this investment section there you will have all the transaction taking place in the contract you can call it a notification you can see we have the withdrawal function user have call and you can see the time when they have withdraw what amount they have withdraw you can see the address and you can see the percentage wise the amount they have withdraw same goes with the claim 
same goes with the deposit claim deposit so that's all stats you will find as an admin and all the details about the contract interaction here in the admin panel so that's the investing section now we have this taking platform from here you can able to withdraw the token which you have provided so this much additional supply you have provided as an admin so the user can claim the reward so if you want to withdraw this fund you can simply give the address of the token so the reward token address and you can simply withdraw and this particular token will be transferred to your vault address but you have to maintain this we have given you this additional feature so in future if you think that you don't want to execute this staking platform and you want to simply destroy the contract then you can able to withdraw the token after that you can destroy the contract okay so that's what we have here in the staking now we have the transfer function there you can able to transfer the token to any place so you can give the address of the contract or a wallet you can give the quantity and you can simply transfer it you can see this is the available supply which you have provided in the staking contract so that's it's reflecting and you have to constantly monitor and maintain this supply so the user can claim the reward without having any trouble come back to the pool and from here you can able to create new pool so to create a new pool you can give the token address which you want the user to stake and here you have to give the address of the token which you want the user should get the reward and you have to define the api this should be in percentage okay and here you have to give the number of day which you want to lock the token like 45 days 100 days or 200 days so it's actually a day and you can simply click on create and you can create so if you come back to the pool history here you will find all the pools which we have created so currently we have three different pool you can simply copy the address of the pool you can copy the address of the reward token and you can see the deposit so currently we have 90 token in the first 60 and 100 you can see the api we are providing and the log day and from here you can able to update the apy so if you want to update this you can simply click here and you can simply provide a new one but make sure you should only update when there is no token available in this particular pool that's the logic we have implemented because you have to constant maintain the supply and the apy of the pool so that's what we have all the pools now if you come back to the ico token there you will have three options so if you want to change the token address like in the ico contract you can simply give a new address of the token and you can update if you want to update the price you can simply update so this is the current price we are charging but if you want to charge more or less you can simply update and if you want to withdraw all the token which we have in the ico contract so you can click here and all the fund will be withdraw from that to ico contract and you will have it so that's we have in our admin panel now let's try to check all the function we have included in our admin panel and how admin can control the entire smart contract ico and staking so you can come back to the dashboard we have already seen this here we have the investment now let's talk about the staking so if i want to withdraw the token from the staking contract i can do that because i'm the admins and currently i have provided this much additional supply so the user can claim the reward so i want to withdraw very less i don't want to withdraw too many because i have to maintain the reward supply so so i have to give the amount which i want to withdraw and the token address so what i can do is i can simply come back to the pool section and i can go to the pool and from here i can copy the address of the token so i'll simply copy so i can come back to the staking and from there i can provide the address of the token so this is the reward token and here i have to give the token which i want to withdraw so i'll go with 10 token and i can click on this withdraw and it's going to make a call to the smart contract and i have to complete the transaction so click on confirm and the transaction is pending once the transaction will complete it's going to withdraw the 10 token and i will receive in my wallet address from the staking contract so just wait the transaction is the pending state you can minimize that one and you can click here and you can able to see the stats so currently we have completed the swap and here we have received the token you can see the fund went up because we have received 10 tokens so let's expand this one that's how you can withdraw the token from the staking contract and now it's went down to 88 because we have withdraw 10 token so that's how you can withdraw from the staking contract now if you come back to the transfer if i want to transfer the token to any address or any contract because i have to constantly maintain the supply of the staking contract so the user can claim the reward so here i have to provide the address of the staking contract so i can transfer so i can come back here in the dashboard and this is the staking contract address i can simply copy from here and i can come back to the transfer section and this is the supply we have i can click the address and i can pass the supply so i will go with less 100 not 100 10 and i can click on this transfer so this token will be transferred straight away to the staking contract and i can able to maintain the supply so i can literally transfer to the ico contract or the staking contract so the user can start purchasing and they get 
reward smoothly without having any trouble. All the transaction we are doing on actual test network, so it will take a little bit time. So just wait. It's in the pending state. When the transaction will complete, you will see the phone will reflect here. So the transaction is completed, and here it's reloading the data, and here it will say that it went up to 898 because we have transferred the 10 token. If you come back to the transfer area, you will find the available supply in the ICU contract is went up to 10. So that's how you can transfer. You can transfer to contract address as well as the user address. So if I check here in the token ICO contract, it has this much supply. So I have to transfer more token into this so the user can continue buying our token. So to transfer that, I have to get the address of our token ICO. So I can come back here and I can simply paste the address of my token ICO contract and I can simply increase the supply. So this time I'm going to transfer, let's say 100 token and click on this transfer and it's going to make a call to the smart contract and we are transferring 100 token to the ICO contract. So the user can buy the token and then they can use that token to stake and earn reward as more token. So if we click on this metamask, you can see the transaction is in the pending state. And here the transaction is completed and we have successfully transferred the token into our ICO contract. So you can see if you click here, you can see the fund went up to 180 and user can start buying it. Even I can buy the token. So if I want to buy, I can simply give the supply. Let's say I want to buy five token and click on this buy token and it's going to make a call to my smart contract and I'm buying 10 five token and paying this much money and I can click on the confirm transaction and I will buy the token successfully and I can use the exact tokens to to stake in the contract to earn reward. So we have successfully bought the token and it went up to 20 earlier it was 15. If you check your ICU contract, it has less fun. So that's how you can buy the token. So you have seen the transfer. Now here we have the pool. So currently we have three different pools and we have designed our UI component for three different pools. So if you come back to the home page, you will see that we have this component and generally this is what we have exactly in actual industry project. We provide three different pool, not more than that. So that's what we have. If you try to create one more pool and that's what logic we have implemented in our front end part, but in the actual contract we have a logic to create multiple pools as many pool as you want but in the front end we are restricting to three so you can come back to the pool section and from here you can create a new pool so i have to give the address of the token which the i want the user should stake and the reward token address api and day lock so i want to create another pool with the same token so i'll come back here and this is the exact token i want as a reward as a stake so i can come here i can paste the address I can paste the reward token address and here I have to set the price, the APY. So I want to give like 300% return and I want them to be stake the token less for 100 days. So I want them to lock their token for 100 days. So that's the log days I have provided. Now I can click on this create pool and it's going to make a, to make a call to our smart contract and we have to simply confirm the transaction and the new pool will be added in our contract and which we can able to find here. You can click here to see the transaction is in the pending state, adding pool. Once the transaction will complete, it's going to reload the data and it's going to fetch all the details about our contract and it's going to display in the components. So you can see now we have seven boxes because we have four different pools, 50, 100, 200 and 300. So as many pool as you will create, this will go up and you will have the stats of that particular pool as well. And every single data would be a dynamic one. Now, if you come back to the pool here, you will find, go to the pool history here. You will find that we got four pools, but if you come back to the home page, we are displaying only three pool because that's the logic we have implemented. We want to give three pools. That's the logic we have implemented. We are displaying only three pools in the front end, but in our contract, we actually have four pools, four pools. So if you want to display all the four, you can do that very easily. So I can simply come back here and I can go back to the admin panel and there you will find, come back to the pool. And you can come back to the pool history here. You will find all the pools we have created. So this is the one we have created just now. You can click on this update APY. So you can simply update the percentage. So you can click here and we are providing, let's say 300. So I want to increase to 500 return. So I can click on this update and it's going to make a call to our smart contract. And that's how we can update. But I would suggest you that whenever you update, make sure there should be no token, no reward for that specific pool. You can simply open this one and you can see the transaction is in the pending mode and we are modifying the pool APY. I hope you guys know what is the full form of APY. Those of you don't know or those of you know, just let me know in the comment section. So let's see how many of you know about this financial term. So that's how we have updated the, our API. So if you come back to the pools, go to the pool history, there you will find that we have updated 
for 500 it looks absolutely fine so every single thing is looks good now we have this ico token section from here you can able to control the token ico contract so currently you will find that we are running an ico of this particular token tbc token tbc but you can run any token as an ico the reason why i'm running the ico of this tbc token because that's the token we are allowing user to stake in the contract and this is the best strategy which you have to implement not everybody will have your token so they can buy the token and they can stake to on the reward but this section will allow you to control the ico contract so if you want to use any other token you can simply do that but they're not able to stake in the contract okay so if i want to update the token address i can simply do that i can simply come back to the pool and i can simply come here in the pool list and this is the address i'm going to take the same address to show you that you can update the token address in the contract so come back here and i want to update the token address but i will go with the same one so let's paste here and click on this update address it's going to make a call to our smart contract and we have to simply confirm the transaction and the token will be updated anyway that we have used the same token to update so it's going to have the same token in the iso contract iso contract and we'll have the reference of that token in the staking contract as well so it's going to make a transaction and here the transaction is completed and we have successfully updated our token you can open that and you can see the data is reflecting here and we have called this function and if you come back to the auction here you will find the symbol and the name the same address we have provided if i want to update the price of the token so currently we are selling the token at this price so if you want to update you can simply update that so i'll go with one more zero so we have four i'll go with one more zero and i can update or if you want to charge higher you can charge higher i'll simply update that and it's going to make a call to our smart contract and we are updating the token we are updating the price of our token so the user have to pay that much fund when they will buy the token so let's click on the metamask to see the transaction is in the pending state and here you can see the transaction is in the pending state and once the transaction will complete you will have the price updated successfully so we updated the price successfully if you come back to the ico token section there you will so that's how you can update the price so if i want to withdraw all the token which i have in the ico contract for example i have decided to change the token in the ico contract to use different token for ico sale so what i can do i can simply withdraw that all token in my vault address so currently i have this much supply and i'm the admin so i can withdraw that so i can simply call this function withdraw all token and it's going to withdraw all the token from the ico contract and i can have in my vault address so let's confirm that and here it will display so just wait the transaction is the pending state once the transaction will complete you will find all the token in your vault address from the token ico contract and here we have withdraw all the token from the ico contract so if you come back here in the token ico you will see it has zero token available for ico sales and nobody can able to buy so the moment i will simply k buy and click on buy token is going to give me this low balance and it's going to reload the push because there is no token available for sale so in that way you can able to control the entire smart contract of staking dab as well as the ico token if you really want to learn about the web3 technology and build your own project to build a staking dab where you want to promote and sell your cryptocurrency so this is one of the project which you have to include you can simply click here and you can explore and have all the details about the token which you are selling you can see all the transaction we have done so we have to order all the token that's all the details you will find if you want to find about the staking contract simply copy the url and you can simply paste here and you can go into deep about checking your ico contract you can see all the transaction taking place so every single thing is working absolutely fine this is what exactly we're going to build you can simply disconnect or you can simply connect with wallet and now if i change my wallet address you will see if i change my wallet address to this and if i reload the page you can see this is what a normal user will get they will not have the access of the admin panel so they can click here and they will go back to the home page and there i will find all the details about my wallet address so you can see this much the balance i have in my account too and if i click on this there is no token available and you can see we sold 15 token after that i have stopped the ico so you can able to see the balance and all the things so if i come back here in the minimum standard and elite in that i have staked 10 token i have staked 10 token in this particular elite one and i have earned this much reward so if i want to withdraw i can do that very easily so if i want to withdraw this 10 token i can simply come back here and i can click on this and i can simply click on the 10 token and click on this withdraw and it's going to make a call to the smart contract and i'm withdrawing the 10 token we have deposited and it's going to also claim the reward so i'll receive my 10 token as well as the reward i have on so it becomes empty you can click here and you can able to see the 
transaction is in the process when the transaction will complete you will have empty token empty reward in that elite pool and here the transaction is completed now you can simply come back here and you can see you have withdraw your fund you have claim your reward and if you come back here in the live activity section you can see you have withdraw your train token and you have withdraw the reward as well your addresses you can see the timestamp so every single thing is look good everything is look good it's 100 percent responsive for all the devices if i show you the inspect element make on the big screen this is how it's going to look on a mobile device it looks incredible you can click here it's going to give you the side model if you click here you're going to have this pop-up model you can simply copy the address or you can disconnect and you are disconnected with the application you can click and you can connect and you can pick any particular wallet provider so i'll go with metamask and it's going to make a call and it's going to fetch out all the information from the contract and it's going to display here we have the ico so you can click here and you can simply buy the token this is the hero section this is the token detail ico section here we have the stat section here we have the first taking pool so you can click here and you can invest in this particular pool to earn reward they have the second one which is the standard elite here we have the token details section here we have the reward section you can claim and you can claim the reward and you can withdraw the funds in a small quantity don't withdraw in the large quantity otherwise the return on the investment you will not get in proper way so you can withdraw the token now you can come back here so you can withdraw the rewards and the token from the staking here we have the live activity so you can see all the transaction which you can able to track and it's 100 percent responsive you can click here and you can go to the activity page here we have the different partners which we are nice card section we have that's all you will find you can see nice animation we are having this looks good here we have the question section so you can click here and you can able to send the message to the creator of the tab and here we have the footer section so that's how it's going to look the home page now if you want to go to the activity page you can simply come back here and you can simply click on this view activities and it will take you to the activity page where it looks absolutely incredible so you can see it's going to load the data here we have the activity section and here we have the currently activity happening the notification happening in the contract this will also look good now if i want to go to the admin panel you can also check in the admin panel so currently i'm not the admin that's why i'm getting this option so what i will do i'll simply come back here i'll simply change my wallet address to the admin one so this is the admin address and you can see it's going to make a call let me make on the big screen and here i have the access so only admin can have the access so here we have the different tab which you can open so currently by default we are opening dashboard and you will find all of these details about the activities that's all you will find if you go to the investment section there you will find all the activities which is taking place that's all you can able to see here now if you go to the staking there you will find the staking so you can able to withdraw the tokens from the staking contract you can check the transfer you can able to transfer the token if you come back to the pool there you will find this is from where you can create a pool and you can simply add a you can able to have the details of all the pools you can see you can click here and you can update the pool apy so that's what we have you can come back to the ico and from here you can able to update so you can simply update the token address token price or you can simply withdraw that so every single thing is looking absolutely great i hope you guys have understood that what exactly we're going to code in this project everything is working good now we're going to start working on our project so create a folder and let's call this taking and this is the folder you have to open in your VS Code. So let's open our VS Code, go to open, go to desktop, and we have to select the folder we have created. So this one. We don't have anything in that. Now we have to get the startup file in that we have provided all the assets which you need to build this particular project. So to get the startup file, come back to the blockchain coder. There you will find all the resources we have used for building different projects. So make sure to check all the projects we have built on our channel. So click here, go back to the resource and there you will find all the project we have built so check we have more than 50 project on the channel so click here go to the recent project and this is the one which you have to get the startup file so click on this get now and here we have the startup file so simply click here it will take you to the getup repository and you have to simply copy this url i have provided you the entire architecture all the assets we have utilized in the project so we can able to build this project faster we don't need to redesign the entire architecture so simply copy the url Make on the full screen and we have to open our terminal and clone the repository so let's bring it up type get clone paste the url and give this dot it's going to clone the repository in this particular folder it's not going to create a separate folder hit enter and it's cloning it will take 30 seconds maybe less than that 
and finally we have cloned the entire repository so simply close this terminal and now let me give a quick walkthrough of the entire architecture we have designed in this entire project which is very important when you are working on a decentralized application mainly in a DeFi protocol so we have all of this folder so make sure to delete this folder because we don't need that and in this entire structure in the startup file the very first component we have is this component folder in that you will have the entire component we have built in our entire application so we have multiple component for different section because in that we have an admin panel and there we have to manage the entire state so this is the admin panel in that you will find the entire component we have built for the admin on these are the regular components so if i open this admin panel in that we have a couple of regular components like button click input input ratio list pop-up pop-up button title so we're going to code all of this component together then the next section we have is the bigger component like admin card head head nav auth ico token investing notification pool staking token transfer update model so we have all of this for the admin only admin can access all of this component let's close that one and here we have all the react icons i have already imported in this center file and from here we're going to export it and utilize it in our application so you don't need to simply copy uh, the icons so we have already imported that then close that one and here we have all the components like ax contact footer header hero section ico index so here we are importing all of this component and from here we are exporting the component so we can utilize in our pages we have the loader notification partner pool we have the pool model statistics this is the blockchain coder logo i hope you guys are familiar because there you have got the startup file we have the token withdraw and withdraw model that's all we're going to code it so this is the entire component section of our application now let's come back to the context management so we can come here you can see in the context we have five files two files in which we're going to write the code and we have three abi so this is the normal abi of our erc20 token you don't need to make any changes here here we have the abi of our staking contract which we're going to code it and here we have the ico token contract Obviously, when we're going to deploy our contract, we're going to replace the ABI and we'll put the latest ABI. So simply close this one. And now you can come back here in the constants. Here we're going to write the entire code for our managing the contract. And here we're going to build the entire function for reading the data and writing the data of our smart contract. So that's what we have in the context. Now come back to the contract. So if I open that, in that you will find three files. This is the library because in this project, we are using libraries which make our contract more secure and we have to prevent any kind of re-entrancy attack interface. So these are the library which I have used over the years and I have got it as a package. So that's what I'm going to provide you here in the library, which we're going to utilize it. So this is the first library we have as an abstraction for re-entrancy guard. I hope you guys are familiar that what is re-entrancy. So that's the library I have. Here we have the library for context. That's what I have here. Then we have the library of ownable context because we have an ERC20 token and the user will provide their token in the contract so we can use that contract and the token to provide the reward and earn the commission. That's what we have here. Here we have the address library and here we have the ERC20. Simply so close that one. Then we have the interface of ERC20 and then we have the ERC20 in that we are accessing all of this variable like metadata, context. Here we have the safe math library. So these are the libraries we are utilizing in this particular project. So again, you can go into deep, but these are the normal library which you will find when you will work on any decentralized protocol and staking or DeFi application. So we use this and you can use open Zeppelin, but I want to show you everything from scratch, the custom library. That's why I've utilized this as an internal file. So we're going to use all of this library in our staking contract. So that's what we have in the library. Now I'll come back to the staking dab in that we're going to write the entire contract in which we're going to use our library. Then we have the token ICO in which we're going to write the entire ICO for the token where the user can simply buy our ERC20 token. So that's what we have in the contract. Now come back to the pages in that we have four pages. So this is the app in which we're going to do the entire configuration of our state management like wallet, accounts, that's all we will do. We have imported the JavaScript libraries because we are using the JavaScript for the animation and open the models. So that's what we have here. So you don't need to worry about it. Just keep it as it is all the configuration we're going to go together. And here we have the activity in which we're going to display the entire activity and the notification which happening in our contract. We have the admin panel section and we have the home page, which is the index one. So we have four pages all together. Close the page. Now we can come back to the 
public in that you will find all the assets we have utilized in the project like images css file and javascript and here we have this screenshot of the front end ui component so if you click here you can see this is how the home page would look like we have multiple section which we're going to code it then we have the next one so you can simply go to each one of these images where i have given you that what exactly we're going to code at the end of the project so that's all the component we're going to build with actual functionality so this is the logo of the blockchain coder we have the javascript in which just keep it as it is because we are using bootstrap and some of the scroll bar so that's all we have here if you come back to the css file we have the bootstrap css main css and the slider so just keep it as it is don't make any changes in here unless or until if you know if you know then definitely you can do the experiment with the values simply close that one now we can come back to the style file in which we are importing all the css files so you can see bootstrap slider main and here we have written some couple of custom classes for the animation loader and slider so that's all we have here you can play around the value but i would suggest you to follow the complete project and once you complete everything is working fine after that you can simply do the experiment with your branding and the value so just keep it as it is now we can come back to the environment variable in which we're going to keep all the environment variable of our project. So here we're going to put our staking contract address. Here we're going to put our token ICO contract address. And here you have to provide the address of the two token which you want to use as a reward, as a deposit. And here you have to put the logo of your token. Because when the user will add the token in the MetaMask, we have to display that image. So you have to paste your, this is the URL I've given in which we have used the blockchain coder logo. But you can use the exact one, but you have to put your in the real world and here you have to put the admin address account you will use for deploying the contract you have to put that particular address here and here we have the network configuration so we're going to test our contract and deploy our contract to ethereum test network so i have done the configuration for that here we have the rpc url so no matter which network you are deploying make sure to provide this data as per that particular blockchain which you are deploying and everything would be working absolutely fine and here we have to get our form spare api key because user can send the message to us so that's the api key we're going to get it and we're going to provide it so all the changes you have to do here so when you will get the final source code then you can simply do the changes right up here and everything would be working fine you don't need to make any changes in the actual code all the changes you have to do right up here now simply come here close this one here we have the get ignore you don't need to worry about it come back to the next config just keep it as it is here we have the package json file and that we are using all of this library form spare and these are the regular component and the icon and but we are using this particular web3 provider which allows us to connect with the multiple wallets so that's what you're going to learn that how you can configure multiple wallet provider not only metamask and here we have some regular packages which we use over the time in all our project so that's what we have in the package json file now you can come back to the readme file there i have provided all the required links which you need to follow to get the faucet watch the demo video installation that's all i have provided so you can simply have a look there i have given all this instruction so look good simply close this one now you know that what are the structure we have followed in our entire project and how we're going to develop our entire application so before we start coding there are a couple of requirements which we need to fulfill so the very first thing is that you have to check your node version so open up your terminal and in this particular project i'm using this particular node version so simply type node dash v and this is the version i'm using it's a latest one but if you have the older version it will not create any problem because we are not using hard in the project we're going to deploy our contract using remix id so this is the node version i have if i check my npm version this is the npm version so if you face any problem related to the package and installation make sure to upgrade your node version to this but it will also work fine with the old version but if it's create any problem then you can simply upgrade to this one so that's the first thing now clear the terminal now we can start writing our code so before we start doing that let's install all of the package and let's test everything out after that we're going to start working on our contract so that's how i have plans first we're going to build our all the contract and deploy through remix id and get the abi get the address and that's all we're going to provide it after that we're going to move to our context management where we're going to build all the functionality like writing data reading data building the state getting the contract information so that's all we're going to build it after that we're going to start working on the front end so first we'll focus on the contract and the functionality after that we're going to focus on the beautification of the application so that looks good now we have to install all of these packages all of these packages so simply do one thing type npm i or install both will work fine so hit enter and it's going to do the installation the process might takes a little bit time so just wait it's depend on your internet speed and you can see that i'm getting a couple of warnings related to depreciated depreciated 
we have to use the exact version of the packages we don't want to upgrade the packages because the configuration we're going to do as per the versions we have used and defined here in the packages and file so here you can see i'm getting a couple of warnings and vulnerabilities you need to simply ignore this one okay it's not that important simply clear terminal so we have done the installation successfully now we can start our application and test so this is the command you have to write simply type this npm run dev npm run dev and it's going to start our application on localhost 3000 so simply copy this one now you can come back to the browser open a new tab and paste here and hit enter and you can see every single thing is working fine our css file is well attached to our application that's why you can see the color is changed and here we have the index now we're going to start working on our contract so everything's look good no issue we have now we can come back to our code simply close this one close this one and now we're going to start working on our contract first so before we're going to import all of this library in our staking dab contract we have to first build the actual contract which is going to execute the staking and reward system after that we're going to simply import the contract so i don't want to create any clutter i want to differentiate between the libraries and the actual contract so first we're going to build on the staking contract after that we're going to import the library and then we're going to simply deploy it so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video so i hope you guys have understood the entire architecture and what are the things we're going to develop and how our application would work so that's the only thing i don't want to extend this video too long it's already 40 minutes long video in the next video we're going to start building on our smart contract after that we're going to work on our context and then we're going to focus on our entire front end so it's going to have three more videos so let's move to the next one